All right, back on Contractor Corner here with Keith Zander. We are talking about install of the leak defense system. So Keith, we've got a bunch of components here at Watts. You got water filtration, you got one flow, a lot of the things that the Watts family of brands has. Talk to me about where we can wor work this in in an install in conjunction with some of our traditional plumbing products. Yeah, absolutely, Gary. In different areas of the United States, we're gonna have different types of water filtration. Uh, some areas you've got 100% of the homes are going to have water filtration because the water's terrible. Yep. In some homes you may have wells, uh, different cleanliness. So we've got a couple of applications that can work with water filtration, water regeneration type of, of purification systems. Mm -hmm. So one of the systems that we have is what we call our split system. So I call this the self-contained system because it'll ship with the ball valve and the flow sensor in one piece. Right, all joined. Yeah. Absolutely. We also have a split system. So for instance, if you pipe in a water filtration system right here, mm -hmm. then what I'll do is I'll, the installer will want to uh, close off the valve, uh, install the ball valve prior to the water filtration system, mm -hmm. and they'll want to install the flow sensor downstream, the, downstream that. of that system. Okay. So when this system regenerates maybe an hour, two hours, four hours, and sometimes with large systems to clean that, that resin bed out, then it's not a leak. Mm -hmm. It's a controlled movement of water. So if we don't monitor that sensor right there, basically what we do is we put a rope around the base of that to protect any leaks that may occur in just a short amount of pipe. And so you'll order the split system to allow the flexibility of installing it separately. There's another way that we can adapt to a water filtration system. If you can't split the piping up for whatever reason, uh, if there is a switch on that filtration head that gives us an output relay mm -hmm. that says I'm in regeneration mode, then we can wire that up to the all-purpose interface and we can, we can say ignore that water flow on that regeneration cycle. For that amount of time. So again, the API doing what it's supposed to, it's sensing and it's it's actually actually engaging with the system components. Absolutely. It's yep. saying this is normal. Yep. We know what's going on. We know why the water is flowing at this point and we're going to adapt to that. So again, contractors, no matter what you're doing out there, you've got a tool in the toolkit here to value add onto your end users in any configuration, whether it's split or standard. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Keith.